Hi again, Virgo. Okay, so your original video cut off and hopefully you followed the link from there to this one. This is the, the, um, the last two cards of that reading. I recreated the reading. I had a battery problem. And thank you to the viewer who called it out to me because I wasn't aware that it got cut off. So I was having issues that day. Okay, so the, the rest of your reading, we, we ended up with this breakthrough card, which is, I wanted to add, you know, most likely an internal energy. This, it is an external um, and placement in the reading, but I really think it's going to originate internally and you'll, you'll feel that shift. Just remember that right and wrong way, that old standard that you've been taught it really hasn't been working because it's been creating stress and you're caught in this little cycle down here. So time to break for a new way of seeing things, for a new way to find ways to celebrate your life and then it will show up. It will show up. You'll feel freer inside. You'll feel, um, um, you know, less tied down to whatever standards people have set for you. The problem, not the problem, the possible result of making that shift is going to be this card here. And this is an internal, and it's also a mind card. It's the guilt card. So it's possible that you'll slip into feelings of, oh, I should have never you know, spoken out. I should have never shifted. I should have never made those changes, you know, and you'll want to maybe revert back to those old secure, quote unquote, you know, secure ways of seeing and doing things. But really remember that that guilt and, and any stories that are going on in your mind that make you feel bad about yourself are just stories. You know, our mind is so powerful that it can literally you know, our mind isn't here to guide us. Our heart is here to guide us and our mind is the tool we use to apply and take action and function and plan. But truly from within, if you make that change and you find that you're slipping and feeling bad about it, um, please try and, and avert those feelings. The outcome of the reading is a fresh start. So this is the very first card of the deck, the fool. And this guy is really just right in the moment, not really worried about what his next step is, as you can see where he may be headed. He just trusts that if he stays happy and reaching for the heavens and feeling joyful and um, positive, that yeah, something will show up, you know, a branch or a rock or a boulder, something will show up to support him in his journey. But right now, all he's worried about is this very moment. And that is the energy that I'm hoping that this breakthrough brings for you, is a relief from this stressful lower energy and more of a, hey, anything goes. You know what? Anything that comes along, I can handle. I'm think I was trying to think of a, like a literal situation that, that this, might, this whole reading might um, surround. And I, I kind of thought of, say, if you're a parent, and you have kids and you have certain rules in place because when you grew up, you were taught those rules and those are the rules that all children must abide by, right? You know, stay quiet, be seen, not heard, that kind of a thing. But just let's just say your children are particularly active and expressive and vocal and exuberant, right? Those old rules, children should be seen and not heard, that's going to suppress their their spirit that's going to hold back you know who they really are and we don't really that's not really what you want to do right um so new ways of seeing it and and it also causes stress it causes stress for them and in the in the home so find a new way relax the boundaries a little bit find ways to allow them to express that energy you know go outside and run 20 minutes a day and and do some fun screaming into pillows or whatever it is that lets them get it out that may not be the old way you know you need to behave and you need to well their spirit is guiding them um you know in the direction they want to be and don't you want to be a part of that don't you want to be part of that journey with them and so then you come through a breakthrough because life becomes easier your kids feel more seated in who they are but maybe the feelings of guilt come along because you feel like you're a bad parent because your rules are relaxed. You know, I'm not talking about letting your kids run rampant, but you know what I mean, just sort of expand the boundaries a little bit, let them 
express more, maybe have more of a say in the household um, as far as, you know, decisions go for whatever, for their bedtime. Like give them a choice. Do you want to make your bedtime early like before or do you want to do some extra chores and you can earn an extra half hour or whatever? Do you know what I mean? It's like create a new way to approach old issues and it will relieve the stress from it it may like I said bring about some feelings that you're doing something wrong but trust that you're not and trust that you're always supported in in the in the decisions that you make and then that internal relaxing will happen and there will be you know and uh, you know a big creation a big opening created and then it will be time to celebrate okay thank you so much Virgo sorry again about the split of videos and thank you again to that viewer who called it to my attention I'm very very appreciative you're a, a amazing community I love this so much okay I will talk to you in a couple weeks for the August update thank you bye